Okay, and welcome to another episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. Although I think I should call the title of this video, Do Not Try to Build a Super Hit Radio or You Will Fail. So anyway, I've been experimenting with trying to build a super hit radio, a very simple one, that doesn't actually have an antenna coil, but should still be able to receive something. Uh, this is the circuit. You can see we've got an RF amplifier stage here, and there's the mixer and the first IF stage here, and there's where the local oscillator is connected. And over here, excuse the flickeriness of the picture, there's the second IF stage and then the output, which goes to the amplifier. And this is the schematic for the local oscillator which seems to work reasonably well. That gives me about 3 megahertz to about 11 megahertz. So it should do something, but it doesn't. Except with the latest configuration of the circuit, because I've been trying with different coils and different capacitors and see which ones work best. And I've just tried it with these two coils here. These are about 4.7 milli Henry. I've got the trimmer capacitors here, so they're both at, to get them both at the same frequency. And well, it does receive something now, but not in the intended way. Let me demonstrate. You should be able to hear something now because I've got this mixed in with the microphone. Right now, it's receiving radio four which is on long way. And if I adjust the local oscillator, you see it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever. That radio station still comes in. If I completely disconnect the local oscillator from the power supply, which is this mind volt battery, because I cannot use my ordinary power supply, I cannot use my bench power supply because that puts too much buzz in the picture and in the in sound. So it's, you can hear it, it's still kind of through. I'll go a little bit more clear. Just unplug that so you can hear me again. So what I think is going on is that um, this is actually acting as the antenna coil and tuning into somewhere on the long wave range and that's what we're actually hearing and this is not really having any effect also talking of nothing to do with it this circuit this bit on the left just ignore that that's a completely different circuit that I am working on and that's actually something that works unlike this because this thing here is a variable pulse width variable frequency generator that I've made that's going to be used as part of a flyback driver, but that's for another video. So, regarding this, I really don't know what to do. Okay, so I'm using a couple of homemade coils that I've made. Instead of these things here that have the huge inductance, about 470, or whatever it was, micro Henry. No, I think they were about 47 milli Henry, weren't they? Anyway, these coils I've got here are homemade coils that I've made. These are my IF coils that I've made. And my tremendous clumsy bulk has just knocked something down. So anyway, each one of these has got a 470 microfarad capacitor, I mean 470 picofarad capacitor across it and they are each one of these coils is 220 microhenry which should be around 490 kilohertz give or take and I've Put a couple of trimmer capacitors across each one so I can fine tune the frequency. Although, strangely enough, 470 kilohertz seems to be the frequency it's most sensitive to, which is kind of weird. But um, so now the circuit is exact to this schematic here. Apart from the fact that I haven't put the diode and the thingy in, but um, I've just got that connected up to my scope for now. So there's the two coils that I made with the capacitor across each one and then there's the trimmer capacitor to fine-tune each coil so they're both at the same frequency 
So I've got my frequency generator here, connected up to this long piece of wire, which is just acting as an antenna, and then that's being received by this other long piece of wire, and is going into the antenna connection in the circuits. And I've got the local oscillator disconnected from the power supply, so all it's getting is the signal from this. And here's the display on the scope, as you can see, it smooths it out to a nice clean sine wave. The nice thing about the way I made the circuit is, I don't have to worry about using a plastic bladed screwdriver to adjust the variable capacitors, because that part, the screw, is actually connected to ground, so I can adjust and fine tune so I get the most output, which is right about there. as you can see actually it seems to be about 485 where the most resonant frequency is so that seems to be a lot more reasonable let me just adjust this again to get the best output possible so this should be when I connect up the local oscillator and the diode this should be a working shortwave superhet radio even though I have not got an antenna coil connected it should be able to pick up something except it doesn't work although it is making a lot of radio noises so it might be doing something and if I disconnect the antenna the noises disappear so it's definitely picking up something even if it is just static Although I simply cannot get this to tune into anything. Okay, I'm going to have to re-record the commentary that was originally running commentary because me, in my infinite stupidity, when I shot this part of the video, I had the microphone turned off. So. You could still hear the output from my quote-unquote radio, but not me. Anyway, what I've done here is disconnected the local oscillator, and I'm using my frequency generator as a local oscillator, which only goes up to about 1.4 MHz, and although it is a square wave oscillator, I thought just maybe I might be able to use that to tune into some of the local AM stations. But as you can hear, even that doesn't work. So, I'm giving up on this project for now. I just simply do not have the right kind of parts to make a circuit like this work, and I'm not wasting any more of my time trying to get something that is not going to work with the parts I have to actually work. I'm losing sleep over this. All the failure and stress that this is bringing on is actually making me physically ill. And I'm going to make myself seriously sick if I keep on working on this and keep failing. So I'm taking a break from radio circuits. And I'm going to get on with something that I know I can do. So until next time, goodbye.